the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, November 28th, 2021, and this is It All Began in the 70s, Episode 11, Left in a Right World. So I am a lefty, meaning that my principal hand for writing, uh, anything that requires any precision, uh, is I have to use my left hand. I'm a left-handed uh, person. Now what's uh, interesting about that is when I was growing up uh, in the South, uh, it was actually seen as something that needed to be corrected, uh, literally I had teachers that tried to get me to become right hand, forcing me to write with my right hand and and trying to change me from left handed to right handed. I don't know if you've ever tried that if you're right handed, if you've tried to become left handed, but it's one of the most frustrating, psychologically frustrating things you can ever do to yourself. Um, you know, these are these these are not choices that are made. I didn't, you know, decide to be left-handed any more than I decided to uh, have a twisted foot uh, that required me to wear leg braces when I was a small child. So, uh, what you find out very quickly is that the world is not designed for someone who's left-handed. One of the first things you notice is that you can't use a pair of scissors, and that when you uh, write. Uh, with a pencil especially, you get all the pencil uh, ink on your on your hand because you're as you're writing your your hand moves across the ink and rubs it on the bottom of your uh, palm. And then I had uh, some teachers that tried to um, teach us how some of us left-handed. Uh, actually, you find a lot of left-handed people in the accelerated learning classes. Uh, I actually met a lot of left-handed people in um, in Hollywood. Uh, you know, in, in that group, the um, creative side. There's a lot of left-handed people in the creative, and, and in politics as well. But that, that's another conversation. So practically speaking, just as a child growing up, um, I just remember the frustration of trying to write without getting the ink on your hands. They had this strange maneuver where you would kind of curl your hand around the top and write from the top, try to write cursive from the top, something I guess cursive not even taught anymore. Um, but a lot of things that people take for granted that are designed for the world being mostly right-handed, you encounter, um, you know, small things, big things. Um, but I, I think that that's not the major aspect of it. I've I've seen studies that say that, well, you know, left-handed people have to um, adapt more. So, you know, that's maybe why they achieve more in some areas because the world isn't really rigged up for them. I don't know about that because it's, you know, if I added all of those things together uh, that, you know, are lefty versus being left-handed and having to deal with right-handed implements in a world designed for right-handed people, it was really a pretty small individual number of things you had to learn how to do, like use a right-handed pair of scissors if you cut with the left hand because it puts the pressure on the wrong direction on the on the, on the the joint of the scissors so it spreads apart, that kind of silly stuff. I don't think that's really it. The real issue is that um, the way the brain operates, a left-handed person is right-brained, right-handed person is left brain, and that uh, change of perspective, it's pretty drastic. Having known many left-handed people, been associated with many left-handed people, um, there's definitely a different thinking process uh, that goes on in a, in a right brain person versus a left brain person. So I think that's probably the the main real difference. Uh, not so much physical adjustments that have to be made. And funny, uh, in final note, um, in the South, uh, there was also the thought that if you're left-handed, there was some kind of negative spiritual aspect to it, like an evil component. So that was also some... I didn't get too much of that. I kind of heard rumblings of that. Uh, you know, in my, this took place in the 70s, um, mid to late 70s, early 80s when I was, they were trying to make me right-handed. I didn't really hear too much of that, uh, just a few mentions of that, but it was more prevalent in the generation prior that actually if you were left-handed, um, you were like somehow evil or, or you know, 
literally, literally that. You were evil. Right-handed people were good, and left-handed people were evil. The left-hand path versus the right-hand path. I think that's where they got that from. So anyway, that's it for today. Um, please see the show notes if you're um, if you want to look at our updated resources and things about everything that's going on, and if you want to support this work. Thank you very much for your time, and have a good day. Bye now.